Look at the American flag on that and all the designs. US Air Force look. It says on here you can see that it's not in good condition after being damaged in the, in the war. No way. Oh, look at the missiles underneath there. <gasps> The what is up guys? Viva up here and look what we have just found. We have found a Norfolk and Suffolk Aviation Museum and as you literally pull in to this like little car park bit, there's already planes everywhere. So this looks sick. Restoration in progress. No way. Let's, let's have a look what the sign says. Oh, here you go. Gloucester Javelin. No way. This is insane. It's the world's first twin jet delta wing fighter designed for long endurance flights to intercept enemy bombers at high altitudes. Look, look at that. That's insane. Let's get some, uh, get us some side views, shall we? Look at it. Oh, look. Oh man, this looks sick. And yeah, this says restoration in progress as well. That is amazing. That's, that's all, that's all, circle. That's all, that's all. Yeah, you. No way, yeah. That's insane. Look at these beams. I know, aren't they insane? <laughs> I was saying, right. you jet in the sky, it's so small. I know. And when you look at the back like, of that, look. look. <gasps> oh, no <laughs> way, look at this. That's... <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> look at these missiles as well, though. I know, right? There's no push. Try not to push this helicopter. Don't right? push? Yeah. What do you mean? No, no push. Oh, but we can't push the chopper, okay. This is a Westland Whirlwind. Ha, huh. 10. Ha. Huh. British built version of the Sikorsky S55. Oh, it's naval, it looks a bit naval. Looks like sea rescue oh, and this stuff. This is just so good, isn't it? Yeah, man. Oh, is it starting? I think it's starting to snow. Babe, is it snowing? I think it's starting to snow. Oh okay. Go on, say it. De Havilland Sea Vixen. First proposed in 1946. The prototype DH110 flew in September 1951. I'm proud of you. But it broke up in mid air. Oh. Oh, the yeah. Look at, the Look at it. It's actually starting to snow. It's minus three degrees. But like, we're, we're out here, we're doing things. Look at that. Danger, danger. High voltage. Oh, it's so danger, danger. I know. Right, what else have we got here? Lockheed T-33A. Aircraft was a direct development of the P-80 shooting. I don't know, something's it's blanked out. America's first operational jet fighter. They look sick. Oh, look at like the cards. Like some of the artwork on these as well, like. Oh, it's so good. Okay, what's this one? Oh, look at that. These actually are insane. All right, let's have a look what this one is. This one is Dassault MD452 Mystery IVA. Developed from the Mystery 11C, which served briefly with the French Air Force. This, oh no way, look, oh, can you see the missile? There's a missile. I want to see it. Oh, I'm gonna do these first, because there's planes that we haven't done yet. But there's a missile, I can see a missile. Okay, no, right, let me, right. Me, I'm gonna do the planes first. As much as I wanna go to the missile right now. All right, let's have a look at this one. Steps, look. What we got here? Gloucester Meteor. Gloucester Meteor was the first jet aircraft to go into the service of the RAF and only Allied jet to see action World War II. Oh, 
Oh man. These are just so good. Like it's amazing seeing them in person. Like you've seen pictures and like, you know, you've seen them in the films and stuff even, but these were actual ones. Look at the American flag on that and all the designs. US Air Force look. This is insane. North American F-100D Super. Uh, began life as a development of the F-86 Sabre and the first production model flew in 1953. Oh, so good. Right, I'm gonna go down here and uh, there's more planes and yeah, I'm really excited to see this missile thing. No way, look at this. <gasps> Oh man, these are so good. Okay, let's start. Let's start this way. Look at the state of me. My hair's going frizzy. It's cold. It's minus three degrees. It's starting to snow. But, they, yeah, this is worth it. This is worth being cold. Rescue. North American T-28C Trojan. The winner of the USAF competition in 1948 for a new trainer. Look like the bull on that look. Oh, look at this. Argentina! Argentinian baby, still got the No words, way! Yeah, the light Oh yeah, you can see the Argentinian flag at the back there. Ground attack vehicle. This is am this is amazing! FMA-1858A Pucara A light turboprop ground attack aircraft No way It says on here you can see that it's not in good condition after being damaged in the, in the war, no way This was, this is actually war damaged Right, this one says 1972 on it Look at that. Man, these are just so good. What does this one actually say? We've got a little sign down here. Miko Mi Mikoyan? Mikoyan Gurich? <laughs> Mikoyan are you trying to read? I'm trying to read. Would you like some assistance? I'm trying to do a read. Where are you? What's Mikoyan Gurevich. Mik Mikoyan Gurevich, MIG. It's a MIG, so that's a Russian <laughs> Soviet air combat. Let's get this one. Yeah, that is amazing. I isn't think it? this is the best looking one. Oh, I tell you what. It's a Tomcat or something. You big. can still see all like the chair in the top there. Look. Look at the size of the missiles. Oh, look at the missiles underneath there. <gasps> you can ride them to battle. That's up to battle. Is this a They're insane. I don't know the signs around here. Let's have a look. Look how this is actually <laughs> huge. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, it's oh. locking up, guys. We're gonna miss that stuff under there. Oh man. So that's just a quick look. There's a bit there. He's closing up, so we are done for today. <sighs> Probably not dropped the dinner, so I'll get you on the camera there. Man, this is actually insane. So we just got kicked out of the Aviation Museum, not because we've done anything bad, because it was closing. So there's a couple bits that we didn't get any sort of close-ups of, but we found this place. And we have just got some massive cream and marshmallow hot chocolate. So, uh, I mean, that's a plus. 